Hi there! Welcome back to Synchro Secrets, the go-to place for all things artistic swimming. My name is Agata and today I am going to share my secrets about the keep figure. So if you are interested in improvement, make sure you watch this video to the end. But before I start, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss any of my videos. Let's start by clarifying in which age category we can see this figure performed by the athletes. The original keep figure is done by under 12 age category athletes. We can also see it in the under 15 age category, but an additional move, which is a combined spin, is added to make this figure more age appropriate, so basically harder. In this video, I am going to focus on the under 12 age category, but if you are interested in combined spins, just make sure you leave me a comment under this video and I will try to cover it for you. So let's start with the beginning of this figure, and I think it is important to mention here that this figure should be started with the hips laying on the red line when the athletes are performing this figure in front of the judges at the competition. The athletes start in a back layout position and slowly with a continuous motion bend their legs to arrive at the top position. The main mistakes in this transition include lack of body control, knees or legs separate, feet going under the water, and problems with sculling and also movement. Usually it is backwards so the judges can see the actual movement and the athlete moving back during this figure. I am not going to go into much detail about how to improve this part because I actually have an online course for beginners where you can learn all the basic scalings and all the basic positions and all the drills and the most common mistakes that are done there. So if you are interested I am going to attach a link for this course under this video. Now once the athlete achieves the top position, it is time to go under the water into the tuck position. Please pay attention to the hand placement and movement in this transition. The hands should be placed behind the athlete's hips at the beginning of the rotation. Many athletes make the mistake of throwing their arms up which results in a very uncontrolled turn to a tuck position. To make this transition possible, make sure that your athletes engage their core and glutes and also they shouldn't rely on their arms too much. It is best to practice this transition or the beginning of this transition on land first so the athletes learn how to initiate this movement without the arms actual scaling. So they should be able to do the beginning of this figure without the arms. If they learn how to do it on land then you can try it in the water and I bet you will see the results. And as you can see the hand movement is very flat to support the hips and to come out of the water as high as possible. My main tip here is to imagine that you want to press the water down and keep your wrists very tight and strong. All of these transitions should be done in a controlled manner and the speed should match the beginning of the figure as well. As you have probably noticed, the head positioning at the end of this transition here is wrong. The head should be tucked in and not looking straight like in this example. I always try to explain to my athletes that during this position, they should keep their nose as close to their knees as possible. The buttocks and the toes should be facing to the ceiling. Try to explain to your swimmers that this position should be as small as possible, with their heels pressed to their buttocks. Once we arrive in the tuck position, it is time to start straightening the knees to the vertical position. And I think it is the most challenging transition in this figure, especially for young athletes that do not have so much core strength and do not know how to engage their body and have some problems with support scalp. Let's look at what the legs should be doing before we analyze the body movement under the water. I think that the most important point to understand is that the legs should not only be straightened up but also they should go a little bit away from the body. So when the athlete is starting to straighten the legs they should also go a little bit in front of them. Once the athlete arrives at a 90 degree angle this is when the legs continue straightening in an upward motion and the hips start going in front under the legs. Most athletes make a mistake of pushing their feet back instead in front and this results in feet going out of alignment, so they are not in one line with the knees. Once the athlete makes it to the vertical position, they should be showing a maximum height for at least 2 seconds before sinking under the water in a controlled manner. I think it is important to mention that the athletes should arrive in the vertical position at the maximum height before they actually straighten their legs, so it cannot be that they arrive in the vertical position 
very low and then they show the maximum height at the end and then they start sinking. This actually will not be awarded by the judges because they know it is easier to straighten their legs at lower height and then come up than straighten the legs at the maximum height, hold it for a few seconds and then sink under the water. All right, so we discussed the legs positioning, but let's look what's happening under the water with the body. From a tuck position with the head close to the athlete's knees, an unrolling action should take place. In this example, we see the athlete performing the transition with a straight back. This is a mistake that will result in one point of deduction when spotted by the judges. All right, so let's look at the actual body movement that should be happening during this figure. So I have my figure in here and she's already positioned in the tuck position with her head looking at the knees. Now, the legs are straightening while the body is enrolling and at the end finishing in the vertical position in one line. Do not look at the arms positioning. This figurine is a little bit loose, so I just wanted to show you the correct body movement. And of course, after achieving the vertical line, a controlled drop under the water should be performed. It is important to mention that the whole figure should be done in uniform motion, which means that all transitions from one position to the other should be done at the same speed. And that's all from me talking about the keep figure. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you also subscribe to Synchro Secrets so you never miss any of my videos. And by the way, remember that mastering figures takes time and practice, so don't give up and keep going. See you in the next video. Bye!